Today we're visiting Caerwent in Monmouthshire. Caerwent was founded by the Romans in AD 75 as the market town of Venta Silurum. Named after the Silers, a warrior tribe that the Romans had a hard time defeating. This was a market town during the Roman occupation and then subsequently became the centre of the Kingdom of Gwent. Caerwent, translating to Fort of Gwent. The Roman ruins are said to be some of the best preserved in Europe. So it was one of those things that I didn't realise just how much the Romans were involved in Wales. I don't know why, but I always assumed that they didn't get this far. I didn't think that this place was as big as it was. Yeah, we actually visited this years ago, but we, we only looked at a couple of little bits. Not uh, realising that there was more of it tucked away yeah. and all over the place, really. It was big. It's about four times the size of what I originally thought it was. It was a major town, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a market town for the Silurus. And the only reason we stopped here before is because we were driving past and saw the sign, which is uh, a great way of discovering all sorts of things. This wall, there's far more to it than meets the eye because it's just going on. And this way around, you've got all your defensive positions and it's right next to this rather spectacular looking field of growing things. My knowledge is expert when it comes to this. But it's very impressive, just this bit here, and it's just wall. We're gonna go and have a closer nose at things. On a day like today, when the weather's stunning like this, it's quite easy to see why they built this here. You're in quite a wide valley, so it's going to be where people are travelling through naturally because it's easier to walk along the flat than it is to go along the tops of the hills. In the distance behind me, you're not going to be able to see this, but that's the River Severn down there, which means a river crossing, which means communication with the rest of the UK. Although back then it wasn't the UK. So it's a strategically important point. Add that onto the fact that they were making quite a bold statement to the Silers who they'd defeated at quite some cost. And this is the perfect place for this encampment. And it's not just an encampment, this is a town and quite a substantial one. So these structures behind me would have been hollow with a platform higher up for an archer to stand and look out and see if anybody's coming and prevent them from coming any further if they're not wanted. But it is a big structure. It's an absolutely stunning place to be. It's really quiet. I mean, filming now is the start of the holidays and there's just nobody here. It's really serene and peaceful. I mean, you can just every now and then hear traffic in the distance, but that's it so far. We've seen one family come. So come and have a look at this one because it's worth it and it's free and the parking's free and it's, it's all good. Approaching the town from the south, this is your entrance way to the fort. There are four of these because it really does sort of sit on a crossroads, admittedly they are slightly staggered. What's going to happen is you're going to arrive here and you've either got to go all the way around the outside of the thing or you go through. Now this gives the Romans the ability to maintain some control over people's movement in the very least at least knowing who's going where it also means that the town is incredibly defensible you've only got four areas of weakness realistically the four entrances that you have to really guard particularly well in order to stop people coming and going as they please If you thought that by coming to Caerwent you were going to miss out on that Norman action that you love so much, then fear not, because this behind me is what the Normans did when they came along, discovered that there was a Roman fort here and thought, you know what this needs? This needs something of a lower grade of technology. Let's build ourselves a moss. I mean, there was a few hundred years gap. Either way, that's a, that's a mot for you. So over this side you've got the Basilica, which is apparently quite an impressive building where all of the administrative stuff happened, and then over there you've got the marketplace where everybody came and sold stuff and there were little cafes and things like that, which sounds very nice. I think I'd have rather liked it here. So after a long hard day of being all, you know, Roman, you come here and pray to your gods. Unfortunately, we don't know which god this was the temple of. Probably the god of, when will it stop raining? This is Wales, after all. 
When you think of Roman settlements and Roman forts, quite often the first thing you might think, other than, you know, empire, are mosaics and hypercausts. And yet most of these houses didn't have either of those, which suggests that although this was a thriving place, it wasn't quite big enough or grand enough to warrant such things. Although there are some properties here that did have both. It just wasn't such a common thing. These little squat walls are what remain of houses and shops. This was obviously quite posh because it had a hypercourse. That's underfloor heating to you and me. And uh, that was quite posh. You know, not everybody had underfloor heating, I'm sure. Certainly the Welsh didn't. So this massive structure is a farmhouse. It's a huge, 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 huge layout. And it once had hypercourses and mosaic floors, so it would have been properly posh for its time. I'd love to see it finished, I have to say. And it's still got a beautiful view. It was built around two courtyards and it had painted walls and, and it was really quite lavish. There were people living here with quite some substantial wealth and they did so for quite a long time because this isn't the first house that the Romans built on this plot, it's the third. There were two predecessors that they demolished to make way for this one. That says they were here for quite a long time. So that brings us to the end of our exploration of Carewent. This one was quite a long way to get to bits of it because it was all spread out because it was a town. Yeah, it was. So um, it's like we walked around a town today and we, we bought did. nothing in any of the shops. It was rubbish. Well, that's <laughs> partly because the shops haven't been here for hundreds of years. Uh, could be, could Although, be you know, I wanted one of those sort of leather skirt things made out of funny slat things. I mean, who doesn't want one of those? I wanted a pair of Roman sandals because they look really comfortable. I suppose they had to be, because, you know... That's what there was. Long way to walk. A lot of marching going on. Enough of us rambling about footwear. <laughs> what did you think of Care Went? It was interesting to see what's been excavated and what's here and how much there still is, because there's not many places that have this much. This sea. is one of the, the, the biggest sites of this kind in Europe. Yeah. So, so for that, it's worth seeing, and it's a nice round walk. I liked it. I found it interesting, but I found the wall more impressive than the actual ruins. And we're used to looking at castles. You've got yourself yeah, into the castle got, mindset. Got, got, got castle mindset. It's quite interesting to see the sizes that the buildings or the rooms would have been as well. Uh, there's clearly quite a variety of buildings here and a variety of sort of standards of living, if you like. They're all pretty good standards of living for the time. Mm. An awful lot of technology that, you know, like the hypercore systems, which make you nice and warm and toasty and dry mm. and that sort and of thing. And drainage. Oh yes, which kind of disappeared after the Romans yeah. went away. Well, so I mean, what did the Romans ever do for us? That is a good question. <laughs> that is it from us at Care Went. We'd like to say thank you very much to our patrons for making this possible. And what else? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. TTFN.